Welcome back, graduates. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up different languages for your Ecomify theme. So what you want to do is going to the back end of your Shopify store. And if you view this, you'll see that everything is in English and you can do this manually, but we have a way where you can um, change out uh, the text in different languages altogether. So what you want to do is you're going to go into the edit code and you're going to go into your locals. And right now I have English as a default. So what I am going to do is just at the very bottom here, this says English EN, and I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to go into my text mates or text editor and just save this file in English. And I saved this file just like it is, and it's the English format. I'm going to go to this website called translate.i18next.com. Ignore the UI. It is a trustworthy site. You're going to go into the website here and you're going to copy and paste, or you can upload the file. And then down here, this is your target language. So I'm, I want it in DE and you'll notice that it takes a little bit to translate because it has to translate a lot of all this whole file. So give it some time to translate but it will translate it for you. And if you have any questions, uh, you can go into right over here. Uh, and this is a list of uh, languages uh, for two letters. So Spanish would be um, ES. Uh, these are all languages here that you can choose and the abbreviations. So ES, like Spanish, um, and all these other languages if you choose to. So while this is still waiting, I'm going to choose this, my target in Spanish. Yes. And I'm just going to wait a little bit. And if it kind of seems too long or buggy, just refresh, upload again, and just do yes, and give it some time. Once you do have this code here though, you're gonna copy just like this. You're gonna copy this whole entire code. Just copy and paste that and go back into here and you're gonna add a new local and you're gonna name this es.default.json. So once you do that, it's gonna be a new file and you're gonna paste that, paste all this into your new Spanish language right here. Now that's all set. What you're going to do next is you're going to go into your languages in the settings. So to go in there, you're going to go into the settings and click on languages. And right now it has English as a default. You can add a language here. Uh, so you can do Spanish. Let's say I want to do Spanish. Then I can go and add this right when this uh, populates, click add the button. Then I'm going to have Spanish as an option, and then I can change it to that being the default language. So that's uh, one way to change it instead of manually having to change it around. So again, go into the theme editor, only click on the, only click on the uh, end default right over here, and then copy and paste this into this website right here, translate.i18next.com. Uh, you can either paste it or upload the file after you saved it and then put in your target language and then just wait for it to populate. Copy and paste this whole code back into here and add, add. Do not replace the English, but add a new local file. Paste into here and then go into your settings, languages, add the language, and then set the new default. I uh, hope that makes sense. Thank you.